I remember that time. The sea was rough that day. I had to fight hard. Well, at least it felt like I was struggling. Then there was the time I tried throw net fishing. I managed to make a catch. Now the mud crab I found was awesome. Man, it tasted good. Looking at my photos makes me want to go fishing. Why don't you come with me? I born uncle. I born. Me kohe to dar malu alla ne pulu. Me karla ne kali ekara. E kohe da? Bortu e jandol. Bomis tuti. Let's take this boat and head down river to the mangroves. We should find some great crabs and fish there. Let me give you a hand. You push off and I'll paddle. As we move down river, the water gets saltier. So we have a better chance of catching big fish that come from the ocean to feed. We'll find some large mangrove roots to put our net in. Mangrove trees have special leaves, roots and trunks to help them live in salty water. This looks like a great spot. I'll tie up my net here. It'll take a little while to attract anything. So we'll come back in an hour to check on it. It sure is beautiful here. We'll have a closer look at the mangrove ecosystem. No telling what's hiding in those roots. Ah, we'll pull over there. These roots are called knobby knees. You might think that this place is nothing but mud and roots. But actually, it's a fascinating food web here. And it all starts there with the sun. Because plants are producers, they make their own food using the energy that comes directly from the sun. As you can see, there's plenty of water, sunlight and air. All what plants need to make food. Energy is required for every living thing to grow, plant or animal. The mangrove seed grows from this to this, all from the food it produces itself. Mangroves are a vital part of the food web in this ecosystem. They provide food for many animals who eat the leaves and the fruit of the trees, like these monkeys who are herbivores. They don't have many worries. Nothing will have them for lunch. The trees also get eaten by insects. Just look at all those holes in the leaves. 
Birds like the Oriental Kingfisher help control those insects. They have a variety of insect and insect larvae to choose from here and is always on the search for food. If we look down, we can find other hungry animals. The mangrove crab feeds on dead mangrove leaves that fall in the water. The small prawn and fish hide among the roots and they eat water plants. This water plant, same as the mangrove trees, produces its own food. It doesn't live very deep, so it can get energy from the sun. See that nice green color? It's busy collecting carbon dioxide from the water to help make its own food. It shelters and feeds many of the smaller animals that live here. The animals have to eat to grow, so they're called consumers. Let's go back and check the net. Hopefully, we got something good to eat. Looks promising. Yes, we have dinner. Let's see what we have. Some small fish. I'll throw those back. A nice sized prawn. That should be tasty. Whoa! I gotta tie this one up. Or this could be my toe. The crab uses its pincers for defense. As well as catching and holding on to its food. These claws are strong and sharp. But if it's tied just right, he is nearly harmless. Hmm. Yeah. There. It's done. Whew. It appears a cormorant has been keeping his eye on us. Now he's a great fisherman. These birds are strictly carnivores. As he motion on the bank, it's a two meter water monitor looking for food. He might be smelling this crab with its fish. It appears to be enjoying eating those rotten fish guts. Mud crabs are omnivores and they also are known to eat plant matter. Guess the lizard decided to continue his search in the water. Here we are, we have reached a wider stretch of the river. This looks nice and deep. Looks like signs of fish everywhere. This should make a nice bait. The fish I'm hoping to catch eat both fish and prawn, so I'll bait the hooks with one of each. one. He took the bait. Let's get him in.
That's a decent sized mangrove snapper. Look at those teeth. This should make a nice meal. Oh yeah. These guys are fierce. They eat everything smaller than they are. Let's head back. Now that's an awesome sight. Don't let the eagle's beauty fool you. It's a powerful carnivore. Let's check out one of my old fishing spots. Huh? What happened? The mangrove has been cleared. Someone has cut all the trees. My fishing spot has been destroyed. I wonder what other changes were made to the food web when these trees were removed. Where have all the mangroves gone? Oh, more small fishes. Where have all the mangroves gone? And mangrove crab. Where have all the mangroves gone? Can't